in this video i will recommend you five projects that you can do at the end of this video you will have much more understanding about these projects and you will be confident enough to execute these projects by yourself one of the best project video on my channel is end-to-end -end data engineering project on youtube data analytics this project was taken from project pro they were kind enough to give me this project for free to share it with my subscribers Today also, I am bringing top 5 projects that you can do from Project Pro website to increase your knowledge and add it in your resume. I will recommend you and explain you these projects in detail. So I hope you watch this video till the end because I have a surprise for you guys. So make sure you don't skip this video and watch this video till the end. Now if you don't know what Project Pro is, then Project Pro is a curated library of end-to-end -end solved projects in the space of data engineering, data science, machine learning and big data. They have more than 200 projects available on their website. And these projects are created by top industry experts from companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon and many more. So as I said in this video, I will recommend you 5 projects that you can do from Project Pro website. At the end of this video, you will have much more understanding about these projects and you will be confident enough to execute these projects by yourself. Without wasting time, let's get started. So number one on the list is building a real-time streaming data pipeline using Flink and Kinesis. So if you have been following me, then you will understand that every data project starts with a problem. So what is the problem here? So let's first understand what is the need of real-time data streaming. So let's consider one of the use case. One real-time system for all government agencies. So let's say if some car accident happens or there is some fire, you need to make decisions quickly. You need to take actions within second. Now, if you have data coming for, let's say, with the delay of five minutes or 10 minutes, then you won't be able to take immediate actions. That is the reason we need real-time streaming data. So generally systems are designed on normal pattern. Some of the systems are not scalable. The latency increases with the peak. So if there is some accident, the latency of the data will also increase because systems are not able to capture that. And when the latency increases, it leads to the useless data. And we won't be able to provide the services in shorter period of time. So this is the graph that shows the time it decision required new data in minutes so whenever we have data in real time or a data that comes in few seconds all of these data are time critical as we move forward with the time like minutes hours and days these become traditional batch business intelligence data as the time progresses the data starts losing its value so we need to rely on historical or the batch data for the business processes so this was just a basic introduction of the problem now if you want to build the real-time streaming data what are the different technologies that you can use and what are the different technologies used in this project so we will start with the architecture diagram so first of all we have data coming from multiple sources so we will put our data onto s3 bucket now if you don't know what s3 bucket is s3 bucket is like an object storage where you can store your file whatever the type of file you want to store audio video images csv file text file or whatever you want so we will store our data onto CSV format onto our S3 bucket. Then we will create some kind of app simulation that will give us data into real time. So we will keep pushing some of the data into real time basis to Kinesis Stream. Kinesis Stream is a service provided by AWS to capture real time data. So inside the Kinesis service, we have a lot of different things. One of them is Kinesis Stream. Second one is Firehose. So whatever data we push into Kinesis Stream, will be captured by AWS Firehose and we can easily store that data onto S3 bucket again. This will be considered as the raw storage. Now in this case, we want two different pipelines. One pipeline for batch streaming and second pipeline for real-time streaming. Because using batch streaming, we can analyze the longer period of data while the real-time streaming, we can easily analyze them in few seconds. So we will be creating two pipelines into this one architecture. For that real-time streaming, we will be using Apache Flink. Apache Flink is used for analyzing real-time streaming data. So what it means is that the data that is coming from the Kinesis stream, we can easily analyze it in real time. So all of the data that we are getting, we can easily query it, understand it, what type of data we are getting, and then push that data forward. So one of the ways if you want to push that data is to batch pipeline. So AWS Glue is a managed ETL service provided by AWS. Glue is a serverless, so you don't have to manage any servers or anything. So you can write your ETL job in Glue. We will write our code in Spark, and then we will store that data onto S3 bucket. This will be our analytical layer. We can use Amazon Athena, that is the 
ad hoc query interface we can directly query on top of files and then run analytical query on top of it so this was mainly about the batch pipeline now the second path of our architecture diagram is to stream so we will put data from apache fling to kinesis stream again and then based on that we will trigger lambda function lambda is a compute service provided by aws that is completely serverless and it scales automatically so whenever we get any data onto kinesis stream we will push some kind of notification for that again we will use the service called a simple notification service so we can get notified on email or sms you can configure it on sns and you will get real time notification all of these activities is monitored by the cloud watch this is the service available on aws and you can monitor all of these activities in log format and easily visualize it on the aws grafana now grafana is a web application for interactive visualization and analytics that is open source and cross platform so if you want to display charts in real time format or bar graph all of the all of the real time graph you see on the internet you can do that using grafana so this project contains both of the things the batch pipeline and real time streaming pipeline so this was one of the project that you can do and you will learn lot of different things in this project first of all you will learn about s3 and python after that these are the services used in this project such as s3 glue athena cloud9 Flink, Kinesis, SNS, Lambda, CloudWatch, Grafana, and Zeppelin, and you will get detailed description about this project. On top of that, you can easily download the solution methodology. You can you can download the installation files that will be required, all of the data set and the code that will be used in this project. Also, you will get all of these videos, so you can go step by step and execute this project. Second project on the list is AWS Snowflake data pipeline using Kinesis and Airflow. Now, these are the technologies such as Snowflake, Kinesis, Airflow. are high in demand in the market so if you know all of these services and if you have hands on experience on top of them then it becomes very easy for you to get a job and stand out from the crowd so this is what the architecture diagram really looks like we will be creating our kinesis agent kinesis agent is something that will produce some data so it can be like some kind of application in this case we will use amazon ec2 to produce some data we will write our producer code onto ec2 and that will produce some kind of data that data will be sent onto kinesis firehose we will push our data onto kinesis fire os that will store our data onto s3 bucket then we will configure our airflow based on the s3 trigger so whenever we have any data available on s3 the dag of the s3 will get triggered and then based on the code that we have written onto airflow it will transform that data it will store the process data on s3 bucket and also it will store all of this data onto snowflake database now let's understand all of these services individually so for airflow we will be using amazon managed workflow for apache airflow now if you have seen my video about twitter analytics using airflow you will understand that we created and installed airflow onto ec2 machine managing all of these things can take a lot of time so instead of installing all of these things what you can do is you can use the managed services provided by aws so all of the patching scalability all of these things will be taken care by aws and you will only have to focus on development part so we'll be using that second thing again we will be using ec2 machine ec2 stands for elastic cloud compute this is like the virtual computer just like the computer you have locally you can create the virtual computer store your files process your files or whatever you want to do you can do it on ec2 machine then s3 we already talked about it it is an object storage and then kinesis firehose is fully managed service that deliver real time streaming data to amazon s3 that also we understood in the last video again this project contains 28 lectures you will get everything from the code ppts and all of these project videos you can watch and understand it in detail third project on the list is snowflake azure project to build real time twitter feed dashboard now in the first two projects you understood about aws this project mainly focuses on the azure and snowflake the architecture diagram is pretty simple we have the data coming from the twitter we will set up the virtual machine on the aws it is called as ec2 on the azure it is called as virtual machine or vm we will deploy our code on virtual machine that will extract data from twitter and put that data onto azure blob azure blob service is the same as amazon s3 it is an object storage and you can store whatever the file you want after having data on azure blob we will put that data onto azure queue Azure Queue storage allows application component to communicate with the cloud. So all of the data will be stored inside the queue and that will be easily picked up by the Snowpipe. Snowpipe enables loading data from file as soon as they available in the stage. This means you can directly load data in the micro batches making it available to users within seconds rather than manually running some commands to load the data. So as soon as the script generates data file in Azure storage, Snowpipe recognizes that file arrival and loads that data onto Snowflake database. Then we can create dashboard on top of it and visualize the data and understand more about it things you will learn in this project is python you will also learn some of the services 
services such as Azure Storage Account, Azure Q, Snowpipe, Snowflake, Azure Resource Group, and many more. So this project will teach you about Azure Cloud, Snowflake, and how to write code in Python to fetch Twitter data. Fourth project on the list is analyze Yelp data with the Spark and Parquet format on Azure Databricks. So Databricks is also growing and, and it is one of the highly valued skill in the market. So this is what the basic architecture diagram looks like. You have your data sets available on some kind of storage. We will ingest that data onto Azure Data Lake storage. So once we have our data onto Azure Data Lake storage, we can use Azure Data Factory to run some kind of ETL job and prepare our data that we can easily publish and analyze using data. Bricks. So this project is very small and very straightforward. You will learn about three things in this. You will learn about Azure Data Factory. You will learn about Azure Data Brick, and you will learn about Azure Data Lake Storage. Fifth project on the list is pretty small one. It is GCP project to learn using BigQuery for exploration of the data. So this project is mainly for understanding the basic of BigQuery and how to ingest data and run some analytics. So in this project, you will have some kind of file stored on Google Storage, which is same as S3 Bucket or Azure Blob. You will write some kind of python code that will extract that data and put that data onto BigQuery so that you can write your SQL job. Now these were the five projects that I recommend doing it because it contains a lot of different things. You will learn about AWS, Azure and GCP. Also you will learn about other things such as building real-time streaming pipeline, batch pipeline, snowflake, understand more about open source platforms and many more things. So all of these projects you can easily find it on Project Pro website. Now just for you guys, Project Pro is offering 10% discount on its platform. You can find the link in the description and learn more about it all of these projects i explained in this video are highly technical and industry ready project project pro has more than 200 projects available on the channel and all of these projects have detailed explanation you will find everything from ppt code solution methodology and everything on the project pro website so if you use link in the description you will get the 10 percent discount and i hope you learned something new from this video if you did then make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for the further video thank you for watching see you in the next video